What is up, YouTubers? It's Mushroom, and here we have another Kid Robot exclusive uh, limited run Dunny series called Dunny Evolved. Now, this, the concept between behind Dunny Evolved is that um, basically like evolution, you start off with a uh, infantile type of Dunny, and then you grow into this, and then you grow into the full evolution of the Dunny. Um, basically, five um, five of the most uh, respected and most sought after and most uh, liked or loved artists from Kid Robot's, um, I guess, uh, stable of artists, um, got together and put their takes on what evolution would be for the Dunny, and that's Huck G, who is one of my favorites, and also is Justin Clark 72's favorite, uh, Frank Kozik, who does the Labbit series with the little bunnies, Kronk, who is another favorite of mine, Macbeth, who is a, another favorite of mine, and Scott Tolson, who is probably got one of the most beautiful aesthetics when it comes to uh, his art and um, his Dunny art, so his Dunny toys. So you'll, you'll see that actually in here, so... Let's go ahead and uh, stop talking and crack this open. Now, these are specialized art toys, so they are collectible, highly collectible, and they are, uh, how do you say, semi-valuable. Uh, so, um, and here's a case, and basically you get 20 in a case. They cost $9.99 each. Um, there's no uh, no discounts, so unfortunately, you when you get these, you have to buy them. If you want, if you buy a case, normally you get a discount on a case. Kind of like Hot Wheels, that is not the case. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and start opening these up. These are called blind boxes because you don't know what you're gonna get. This is the album, uh, the album work, the box artwork, and you can see the different ones uh, styles that you're gonna get or you can get here's the cover art some more these ones right here are called chases and they have little question marks next to them as you can see that only means because you don't know how many you're going to get um, some of these have 9 out of 80 3 out of 20 1 out of 20 3 out of 80 so what that basically means is one of these boxes is going to be this this figure this Macbeth figure um, if I got four cases, uh, three of them would be this one, which is a little bit harder to find. And nobody knows how many of this comes in. So, um, all right. Now that I quickly explained that, I'll, I'll give you the commentary as we go along. You can you can understand better what uh, what I'm talking about. So, so the first one off is. They come in these little foil bags. A lot of times they come with little uh, like cards, but this time it doesn't. So, oh, awesome! So this one is uh, right off the bat is Scott Tolson's. Uh, this is the chase figure. Okay, so this is right here. As you can see, it's sorry. There we go. As so you can see, it's a question mark. So nobody knows how many of these are made, and how many are um, how many you can get in the ratio. So this is a very sought after one. I think these are going for eighty dollars, um, but this is a very very cool one. Scott Tolson, like I said, if you notice, the artwork is amazing. Let's see if we can get you zoned in right there. Let's see, you even got little scales on the on the ears. The paint job's pretty amazing. Um, there's his little uh, stamp, SPT. There's a side view, and just all these. And then it has this amazing little dragon-like accent on the back. So, so this is the fully evolved one out of the three that he created. So, we'll put that over there. Um, let's keep cracking. And at the end of this, uh, um, I'll do my best to show you what evolved ones there are. So, let's see what this one is. Ah, this is the Kha'Zix. 
uh, dunny that's hard to find. Uh, this is also a very this is also a chase, as you can see right there. And it's also nobody knows how many come in a case. Um, Kazik did it a little differently. Instead of doing like the chase as the fully evolved, which is the robot, he did it reverse. So the chase is actually the starting point, which is the fish dunny. And it has a little tail. Uh, it doesn't have a little bunghole, which is normal uh, Kazakh style, because little labbits, he got these bunny little, little bunny rabbits that have little buttholes, but not this guy, so. And then he, uh, the next one up is the caveman, and then the fully evolved is the robot. So and there's some more of the Scott Tolson ones. So that's very cool. Pretty happy about that. This is going to be a long video, so bear with me. Um, I could pre-open up these boxes, but then there'd be no fun of it on it. Er, fun capturing it on film. So this one, let's see what this one is. This is probably going to be... Oh, speak of the devil. Here's the fully evolved Frank Kozik robot. And it comes with a little, uh, I don't know what this is, but I think it's like a, a balloon, a, a futuristic balloon that's shaped like a bomb. So that's pretty cool. Let's keep on going. So, I don't know if I'll, I know most of uh, my viewers here are all Hot Wheels collectors or diecast collectors, so this is kind of a new little take on this, on a twist. Oh, check it out. So this is a kind of rare one. This is the Macbeth, and this is 3 out of 80, so it's, uh, it's rare, and it comes with a tiny little plug. So basically, it's like... Um, his evolution series was it started off with a single speaker amp with no uh, set, no fittings. Then he went to um, the multi settings amp, and then you'll have to see if I get that one. That's the hardest one to find. Uh, but this is Macbeth, and very cool. I love this little dunny. So there's his logo. There's his. Uh, Jizz or Jews for juice maybe thunder um, and then basically this accessory plugs in right there so very cool okay I like this box so far so okay let's see all right and here is a Kronk figure Kronk's figures uh, are kind of funny. So they start off with the shy wolf. And in his eyes, you can't see it up. I'm going to get a couple of these so you'll be able to see it. But in his eyes, you can. there's little, there's like strippers. Um, this is the money wolf. And you can see. And you can see he has rolls of dollar bills. And he's drooling. And he's got boob-shaped love in his eyeballs. And this is the back, and you can see stripper butt. Okay. And um, I'll have to show you. Well, we'll go more into detail once they're actually out, and you can see them all. Um, I want to know. I want to point out to you guys. If you guys are using Exacto blades, please be careful. They're very sharp, and I don't want anybody cutting themselves. Um, here is ah. Yes, another chase. So, so far I got three out of the five uh, chases. This is the Huck G chase. This is the one that I really, really love. It's a futuristic, uh, kind of like a SWAT. It's called iPolice. It's like a robotic cyborg police officer. Very, very cool. I think these glow in the dark too. Kind of like um, uh, real steel gun sights. Uh, trinium or something, like tritinium or something. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But very, very cool. Huck G, you're the man. Um, so that's very cool. And let's see. Trying to get through this as fast as I can. Um, all right. All right. This I think is going to be the Shy Wolf. 
Oh no, it's another Scott Tolson. So this is number two in the series in his three-part evolution, and this is like she's uh, turned into a little beautiful dragon or a lotus girl. Okay. Get right here. So these are again our limited run. They're almost sold out at Kid Robot. So if you guys want to get some, you might want to. Uh, ah, here's a Huck G first generation sheriff police. As you can see, got the hairdo, the I Police Urban Youth Outreach Program. So he's, I guess, kind of like a uh, deputy or just starting off police officer. Um, and he comes with a tiny little baton for beating criminals up. So, um, but yeah, what I was saying is you you might want to put your order in uh, kidrobot.com and get some of these. Or if you have a kid robot near you, uh, go to the store and buy some because these are very cool, and they are limited edition and they will be sold out soon enough. Alright, and here is the first of a complete series. So here's the Scott Tolson. And it looks like it's just the Lotus Flower. You know, beautiful fades. I mean, you can't really tell on the, on the camera, but it's got these beautiful gradual gradient colors changes. He's one of my favorite artists because he's just got a beautiful, beautiful, like, I, eye for colors and stuff. So, And then it morphs into this girl and then it morphs into this dragon girl so I'm gonna set these guys up and then we'll uh, go through them okay next one on the plate is so I think I'm not gonna get a Macbeth I think I'm just gonna get um, the one that I want actually but Oh well, it's cool. This is what is this? Ah, the caveman. So this is the caveman Kazik. Um, he's got saber tooth, long fangs or tusks. No butthole. Um, his signature butthole is not there. He's got hairy back, hairy arms, hairy legs, hairy chest. And he's a unibrow. And he's got a club. So it's like Captain Caveman. Uh, this also is another uh, complete series. So let's go ahead and put these guys in, in a row. All right. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna keep on opening. This is a Shire. Or no. This is... Ah, cool. Here is the Macbeth beginning amp dunny. So we have number two. We have number one. And then we have number two. So. But I don't think we're going to get number three because I think this case is pegged to not get it. <laughs> it's a little trick I learned when I was buying cases um, anyways let's see alright I don't know what this one is but oh okay so he's another sheriff and remember um, this is three out of the twenty so he's gonna be a very common one so let's put him back in there what? Don't need to display him. I'm only gonna display the ones that I don't have doubles of. So I know I'm gonna get a full set of the Huskies. So that's that's okay. Ah, here is a Scott Tolson beginner, another beginner Lotus, and Scott Tolson's figures. For every twenty, you get two. So, here's the second one. I should not 
get any more Scott Coulson uh, Lotus flowers. So. But it's not science, and it could happen, so who knows. Again, sorry for the long video, guys. Um, aha! This is a very cool one. This is the Huff G SWAT Police. Um, as you can see, this little dunny's wearing a balaclava. He's <laughs> so cute. Um, wearing um, Steve as a name tag. He's part of the I Police. He's SWAT. He's got the knuckle gloves on, you know. Um, and then look at this. He's got. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open this up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's put his helmet on. There we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't work. Putting his helmet on. Helmet on. Alright. We got more cool he's probably got the most accessories which is awesome um, he's got a riot gear a riot shield and a 12 gauge shotgun so let's put that one over there and let's put this shotgun in his hand which isn't going to be easy because there we go so do not mess with the I Police Riot Squat Team. Because we'll mess you up. Alright. So, that is also another full and complete set. Okay, I'm kind of running out of time because my battery started to go red. Uh, so, let me see if I can... Maybe I can do it this way. Okay. I'm going to turn off the screen so I can get a little bit more time with you guys. So this is me flying blindly because I don't know what what the video camera is doing at this point. But i got to get out of the way of that. So here's another opener. Oh, another Money Wolf, as you can see. So we don't have to show that. We already have that, so... Another. Aha. Okay, I already know this is another riot riot officer, so I'm not gonna go ahead and open that one. I'll leave it sealed. Let's see what this is. Sorry, I'm trying to just speed up the process so I can get get this done. I think this is a shy wolf. Yep. So here's the shy wolf, as you can see. Um. As you can see, there's the silhouettes of the eyes and their strippers. All right. And in the back, it says, Live Triple X Nudes. So he's, and if you notice, he's sweating. So he's, this is like his first time going. So he's like, oh, what do I do? And where's the Money Wolf? Money Wolf is somewhere. Oh, and then this is what he morphs into. <laughs> so... To give you an idea, um, I don't think I'm going to get the chase figure for that one, Kronk series. But what has, what ends up happening is his fully evolved is that he turns into a wolf, a wolf boy. So and he's like howling at the moon. Um, it would be very cool if I got that one, but I don't have that one. I have not gotten that one. This one is going to be another shy wolf. So. You don't have to see that. I think what I'm gonna get here 
Here is the fish, the caveman, and the robot. We have the basic speaker, the one with all the knobs, features, and then there's supposed to be another one, and it's shaped like an app, basically. We have Scott Tolson's Lotus, Lotus Girl, and then Dragon Girl. Then we have the Sheriff, SWAT, and the Cyborg Mecha Police. Then we have Shy Wolf, Money Wolf, and then the last case is, I mean, the last chase on that one is a Wolf Boy, Howlin' at the Moon. So anyways, here you go. Hope you like what you see. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up and likes really help me my uh, channel out. Um, so give me many, many likes. Tell your friends about this video. Spread it out uh, to all your friends. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.